Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I was very excited because today we're finally going to be installing the MHD Ethanol Content Analyzer. This job should be very easy to do, thankfully, and it don't have to get all that dirty. So part of what makes it such a sweet thing for me is the fact that I didn't have to pay full price for it. This is a used analyzer, uh, but I was able to snag it for $350 compared to the five or 600 bucks that it goes for online. I'll go ahead and, and just put it here for you guys so you know exactly what it's going for right now, but... Okay, so if you guys remember my video when I installed the Walbro 450 low pressure pump, uh, so it's basically the same steps to get access it. Uh, don't mind this, this is because of my dog. <laughs> but uh, we have to take off the lower part of the rear seat so we can access the, the access plate to the fuel pump. All right, so now that we have access to the top of the fuel pump, now we need to come here in the trunk. We need to take out the floor trim because we need to access the EKPS, which is on the side here. Okay, there's the EKPS. As remember, I did the cooler and that's it running right now. But what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just disconnect it for now. We're gonna do all our work inside the car. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and get, bring the sensor over here. And it's gonna mount something like this. Uh, the white side has to be up, uh, the female end needs to go into the, the, the top of the fuel pump, and then the male barb needs to be sticking up somewhere near it. So similar to this setup basically. What I actually want to do is go ahead and make a slit on this so I can run this connector. Because once, the, once this lid is down, I need a way to get this connector out of, the, out of this area and into the trunk. So we're, we're going to pop this out, we're going to cut a slit on it so we can stick this, this uh, connector in there and then put it back into the plate. I got the, the harness coming out of the sensor, going through the grommet that I cut, and then it goes up this way, and here it is. So now I can go ahead and run this into the trunk. Also notice when you go install it, notice that the plate itself has an arrow going forward. So it mounts like this. The grommet also has an arrow. So you want to make sure that that matches as well. So everything is in the right orientation. The next thing we're going to do now is just go ahead and install this. In order to install this, we need to go ahead and get the factory uh, hose off the fuel pump because we're going to be dealing with pressurized fuel safety glasses. Make sure you have them. There's a clip here that you have to pull off to this side here. You, that's what you need the flathead screwdriver for. Uh, you stick it in here and just pry the clip towards the passenger side of the... All right, there you go. Hose this off. Okay, now we have to figure out how we're gonna place this. Uh, this is just a quick disconnect. Just clips right in once we have a we're happy with it i think it's going to go something like this uh all these things are, can move so you know don't be afraid uh, as long as you don't bend the actual pipes you're okay like all these fittings are movable i want to disconnect this plug just to give me a little bit more space I'm keeping in mind as I bring this in that I need to be able to get to the, both of these connectors. I think this is it. I think this is going to be the final position, so I'm going to go ahead and just hook it in right here. Yeah. 
There you go. Does this go forward any? Oh yeah, there you go. This needs to fall inside the pocket like this. Okay, so there's one. I think if I get this one in there, there you go, like that. It's a tight fit, but it'll work. There you go. Yeah, this definitely wasn't made with an F10 in, in mind, because they didn't make it easy. But this will work. So, uh, actually, before I put this together, I'm going to hook up the EKPS again and, and just turn on the ignition. I just want to make sure I don't have any leaks before I put this back together. Okay, guys, so this is all done. Good to go. I checked, and there's no leaks here, so great. Now, uh, unfortunately, I thought I was going to be able to just run the harness up through here, but nah, I'm going to need to loosen uh, the back seat just at the bottom. There's two T50, Torx 50, there you go, bolts down here. You pull this up enough just so I can clear this uh, between this and the floor of the trunk and go ahead and feed it into the trunk. All right, so now you guys can see I was able to feed the cable through. There it is. And now we're going to go ahead and hook it into the MHD right there. Is this here this is the actual analyzer. And we're going to go ahead and plug those into the cables right here at the EKPS. So give me just a second. Don't worry about this. This is actually my, my variable mufflers control unit so hmm. to run this underneath i don't have the space right now okay i'm gonna knock this loose so i can pull this out run it underneath and be able to come out this way And there you go. Now the signal is intercepted by the controller here. Let's go ahead and just tuck these wires in. I just want to make sure that, that thing powers up. <laughs> All right, we're on. We got power, sensor, PCU. I don't know what all this means. I don't have an instruction manual, but we'll find out now. Sweet. All right, guys, so everything in the trunk is done. At this point, all we have to do is reflash the, the tune that you have on the car right now, but you have to go into the options and there's a checkbox for ECA, Ethanol Content Analyzer. Make sure you check that off and then go ahead and reflash your, your tune. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, hope, I hope this helps you install it on your car. And if it does, please give me a like. Consider subscribing because, like I always say, I got more projects for this car and the Jetta. Thank you so much.